Let's imagine you have your ideal prospect or potentially a potential customer that is on X slash Twitter and you need to follow up with them. Maybe you sent them a deal or in your pipeline. Maybe there's a contract out there or maybe they're just the ideal person you want on your podcast or to interview or just to connect with in the future. This is how you follow up with them. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. And over the last 10 years, I've been helping over 2,500 people with their marketing. And it's all about follow up. That's one thing that's never changed. So you want to be able to follow up with people in more ways than just email or phone call. So I think one of the best ways to follow up with your ideal prospect is on X slash Twitter. And I'm going to share my screen here and show you four ways that I would follow up with my ideal prospect. All right, so tip number one here is turn on notifications for your prospect. So you'll see a little bell under their profile after you follow them that you can turn on notifications. Now, why do you want to turn on notifications? Because you want to start engaging with this person. You want to start providing value first. You want to like their posts, leave quality comments on their posts, and start making yourself known. Whether you've already sent them a proposal, now it's just reminding them of you, showing them that you actually care about their business, or it's somebody you want to meet in the future, it's showing them that you care about their service. You'll be able to also provide insight with your comments and you're staying top of mind. Because when somebody sees their notifications and they see their comments, they're most likely gonna go respond to those comments and they're gonna see your name, not today, but then they'll see it next week and then the week after and then the week after that. Every time you engage with their posts, they're gonna start remembering you and seeing your name. And that leads me into tip number two, start leaving quality comments. So if there's a post that sparks your interest, go and leave a really quality comment and encouraging them to even reply back to your comment. You can see here in the picture that this is a really good reply comment based on the post. It's providing value. It's asking a question. It's really trying to share their insight and put a different spin on the post. So that's what you want to do. You want to start leaving comments under your prospects posts so then they can start seeing your name because they're going to reply there. They're going to like it or they're going to reply, but they'll continue remembering you from those comments that you're sharing. Tip number three, send a DM, but make it all about them. Tell them you're really enjoying their posts. Tell them you're going to sign up for their newsletter. Tell them that you are gonna follow them and if there's any extra engagement to let you know. This is a post that I wrote and I just basically said, hey, let me know if there's ever an important post you need some extra engagement on. This is super easy for you to do and it shows that you're making it about them and not about yourself. You don't wanna pitch at the beginning of a DM. You want them to start seeing your post if they follow you back. They wanna see that you're providing quality content and someday they might respond back to that DM because you've opened up that dialogue and it's a more friendly way for them to reply. Tip number four, sign up for their newsletter. This is something that I always do. If there's somebody that I want to work with, somebody that I look up to, somebody that I'm enjoying the content from, or maybe someone I want to interview for the podcast, what I'll do is I'll go sign up for their newsletter. Usually it's right in the link in their bio. Once you sign up for their newsletter, you'll start getting their emails. Once in a while, reply back to those emails. That will help you start staying in the inbox and show that you're actually interested in what they offer. Here's a reply back I wrote to somebody whose newsletter I signed up for, and I'm just showing them, hey man, great newsletter. I'll make sure to share this with my network. Now they're going to remember my name on Twitter. They're going to remember my name in email, and you'll see in the next point, they're going to remember my name other places as well. Bonus tip. Follow them on other social media channels so they see you in other areas. So what I usually do is if I connect with somebody on Twitter slash X, I'll go connect with them on LinkedIn and Instagram as well. I'll go follow them. I'll start leaving posts, likes, and comments on their profile as well and just continue engaging with them and trying to provide value back or just leaving my comments to help boost their engagement. So it doesn't take cost you any money to go engage with your ideal prospects. So go do it in more than one place. They're more likely to remember you if they see you on multiple social media networks instead of just one. So what are you going to do with these tips? I want you to take these and try them out for a few weeks and come report back and let me know how it went. So go start following your ideal people, turn on notifications, leave comments, send a short DM about them, sign up for their newsletter and follow them on other social media networks. It's really easy to do. It's free and it's a way for you to show that you actually care about that prospect and you're not just looking for the sale or making it all about yourself. When they're ready to reach out to you or when they're ready to work with you, they'll either follow you, they'll respond back to your DM, they'll respond back to your email, but eventually if they really want to work with you, they know where to find you. You don't have to push that hard. So just keep providing value, engaging, making it about your prospects and you'll see those returns 
come in a week, in a month, or in a year. It takes time, but build up that network on social media. Thanks again for watching. And if you're new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you commented new so I could send you my free follow-up blueprint so you can learn how to follow up with people on more than one channel, on email, on LinkedIn, on ads, so many different ways to follow up. And that's really the key if you wanna grow your business. So again, I will see you on the next video.